Any suggestions for eating all these fruits and veggies on a budget? Yes. Um, the suggestion is what we did when we were younger, when we had no money, we were like going to, you know, in school and stuff, is we would go to the like Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. We would go to the marketplace that sells the restaurants and the supermarkets and buy food in bulk. And we'd bring it back to our neighborhood and we'd split it with a number of families and we'd each take a cabbage and we'd each take a cantaloupe and we'd each take some oranges from the big barrels we would buy wholesale. So we'd actually drive the car and buy food wholesale and split it up with various families and we'd cover our gas, you know, and stuff. So we'd buy, we'd look for the local, you know, and then we were in Philadelphia when we went to medical school, we'd go to the Philadelphia marketplace where the stores would go and we'd buy wholesale foods in bulk and split it up between a bunch of students, you know. And then you'd buy beans, dried beans, and soak them and cook them into beans and not buy canned beans, which are more expensive. And then we'd buy, a lot of times we'd buy green vegetables like collards and stuff in, in Asian markets, which are much less expensive than Whole Foods markets for the same, you know, for the same vegetable. But, but this is not a really expensive way to eat because you're not spending it on meat and stuff. And you can buy vegetables pretty low. And also, a lot of people can grow part of their own food. You know, growing your food is the healthiest thing to do if you could. And gardening. Do you guys know? Let me ask you this question: Which do you think is more related to living to be a health, to living to hundred years old and being a healthy centenarian? I'll give you the uh, it's multiple choice. Number one, caloric restriction. Number two, eating more green vegetables. Number three, living in a brew zone. Or number four, gardening. And the answer, believe it or not. So, what are your put your answer down? Raise your hand if it's you think a caloric restriction. Raise your hand. Hey, raise your hand if you think it's eating more green vegetables. Raise your hand if you think it's more um, living in a blue zone. Okay, raise your hand if you think it's gardening. And the answer is gardening. People who regularly garden live the longest. There's some connection with the soil and growing your own vegetables. And so if you can, if you have the ability to garden, grow bok choy and asparagus in your backyard. Asparagus, you set it up once and then it's going to have you for the next 40 years. You're going to pick asparagus from that patch. You don't have to plant it again. And bok choy are so beautiful and they're so versatile and they're so easy to grow. Make at least one bed, at least one place for your garden. Or if you have an apartment and you can't garden outside, get a grow box and fill it with good soil and garden in your house a little bit and grow some sprouts and microgreens. Grow something yourself. It's so good for kids. And it's so good for all of us to feel our connection with nature and to eat natural foods. I get such a thrill myself from eating something I grew myself. I'm like so excited. I'm like, look to my wife. Look at this. I, look at this peach. Look at this. Avocado, look at this um, fruit. I grew this up and we picked it from our own tree. Look at my, I gave my wife a persimmon today that grew from our own tree. And we write, you know, it's so like thrilling to grow our own food. It's such an exciting thing to do. We're not suffering with like willpower on a nutritarian diet. We're thrilled with the beauty and magic of natural food, how great they taste and how beautiful they look and the magic in, and the magic inside them that gives us such connected connection with nature and with appreciation of the natural world. It's good for our soul to be eating naturally and to be living off the land. Good for your mental health. So any suggestions for eating all these fruits and vegetables on a budget? Yes, um, get a lot of dried beans because they're cheap and eat more cabbage, which is cheap too, cabbage and beans. And um, buy nuts in bulk, it, and if you can buy them wholesale, you know, look for the wholesale distributors to buy things in bulk and split it to other with other families. If you, and that that saves a huge amount of money. 